Welcome back to Lakeisha Loves to Plan. Today I'm excited y'all. I am going over my 2023 planner lineup. I am uber excited. I hope you are too for 2023. So I have a lot of planners. I'm about to break down what I'm using what and what I hope to use. <laughs> All right, so let's start with this one. So I got this one from Mary Posa Studios, and it is actually this is not a ring. I'm sorry, this is a spiral bound, and I like that it has the big spirals. Room for it to get chunky as I decorate it and plan on it. It says take time to do what makes your soul happy, and I want to use this planner as my goal setting planner I'm so excited so I can't wait to dive into this for the month of January um, and what the reason why I'm choosing to use this this year is because of the openness of it um, I do my goal setting in um, categories so I can actually change these days of the week to my goal setting categories um, I also love the lines so the lines here allow me to write out what I want to do um, each week which I absolutely love so that's why I decided to use this and then it has a to-do list um, and I can make this my goals priority list so I it's it's going to be easy for me to change these around if I need to change them. Here's some reminders. Here's weekly goals. And then there's a free space. I just love all of the free space in this planner. Um, so this is owned by a black woman. So check out Mary Posta Studios if you are interested in a planner like this that is open, that is on rings. Um, that is wide and gives you a lot of writing space. So I absolutely love this. I bought this um, from her for the purpose of it being for my goals. So I'm really excited about this one. So that is going to be my goal setting planner. I really don't show this one too much on camera because these are my private goals and you have notes here but I will use this last year for my goal setting I used the Oprah um, planner which was nice I did use that up until December so I'm ready to move to this one for gold now this is a disc this is the brand new go get a girl um, scalloped disc planner and you know I had to get this because who does scallop discs like nobody so I had to get this it's absolutely gorgeous I love this like um the see-through is it see-through what do you call that when it's see-through but not really okay anyway I love this <laughs> um and then I love this picture of this girl now I did get all of her um this comes with different uh, dashboards. I did get all the dashboards. So I'm just gonna show you. So I got the pack, she had a package of 10 dashboards. So you can switch them out for the season. So like this looks like fall, this looks like spring. Um, this looks like spring or summer. This is definitely summer. Um, this could be anything. This could be anything. That looks more like Christmas. This could be anything. Here's the black, which I absolutely love the black and white. And here's a green one. So I could switch her out using these. So um, that was awesome. And then I also bought from Go Get a Girl some beautiful heart magnets that you can take and open up. And throw them on here like that so I had and they have them in the same patterns as the um, planners which is awesome as well so I got all of this from go get a girl so now you're like Lakeisha what are you gonna use this for so this is another planner that rarely gets seen on camera I want to use this for my work planner my work planner because I do do a quite a bit of planning for work and um, and I used this one already on here um, and so I thought this would be great because I can take the pages in and out 
and I need to be able to do that for my work items. I take rigorous notes all the time, so um, I want to use this for work because I can put my work schedule on here with no problem. You see how it's numbered, and I can also have space to write my goals and my work. This is work to do and personal to do, so and it has intentions here, and then. It has a pause and reflect piece here that I like and it has a nice quote at the beginning of every month and then I can map out my month for my job, my monthly goals, action steps and any budgeting I need to do for my job. So I really want to use this and try this for work to see if it keeps me going for work. So that's my work in my 2023 lineup is surprise! my wedding planner y'all I bought this on faith because me and my husband we got married at the justice of the peace 25 years ago so I want on our 25th anniversary to have a wedding and it doesn't have to be a big wedding shout out to my friend Nicole she was like the Keisha it can be small sweet quaint but I really want a wedding because during the pandemic when I thought I didn't know we were gonna live or die um, my biggest regret that came to me is that I did not have a wedding. So y'all, that ain't happening this year. This year, the Kish gonna have her wedding. Hi. So I'm excited. This is the Happy Planner Wedding Planner. I'm gonna do it all myself. I wanna plan it all myself. This is gonna be a, I love project. Um, I love doing projects and I think this pro projects are therapy. This is going to be a project for me this year. I am going to plan a small wedding um, for me and my husband so I can walk down a aisle, which I've never done. And I can put on a wedding dress, which I've never done, and go on a honeymoon, which I've never done. And I've been married 25 years. Um, so this is the budget breakdown here, which I absolutely love. Um, this is like a vision a wedding vision board what this is so awesome bridesmaid dress inspiration decide on the ceremony grooms accessories this has everything your contact list it ha even has a calendar in it um and your tasks i don't know why they have it in this order i would have put the calendar up front but i can't because it's this i can move this around um stationary here's the to-do list um, venue tours, honeymoon packages, and notes in the back. So, I am excited, y'all, to plan my 25th anniversary wedding. Ah! I'm so excited about that. So, that's in my planner lineup. All of these rings are not new. They are rings I have used before. So, I'm just going to go over this really quickly. This is my war binder. I am not tired of it. This will be my third year using it. I absolutely love it. I think it's the most gorgeous thing ever. Um, I just put my um, Advent stuff in here and I have to finish it. Here's my Advent stuff. And I can't wait to do that Advent flip through. So this is gonna be my war binder again. This is my Louis Vuitton, my prized possession. Paid a lot of money for this. Paid a lot of money for this one right here. Okay. This is my business planner, but what I found is, is that I don't really use this right. So I have to find out another purpose for this. Um, I think this will be a great for reflection or something like that. Like, cause I don't go on this every day. I want to show you what I want to use for business in lieu of this, but I think I'm going to retire this as my business planner because I didn't really plan business in here, but you know, I want to use it and I got to figure out how because I got to use this. But this is my big A5. Um, I think I might do my finances in here because last year, yeah, maybe this can be my financial planner because last year I used a book. I actually used a, just a regular plain book as my finances and I use that all the time. So yeah, maybe I can make this my financial planner. So that would be my financial planner. The medium prize possession costs a lot of money. Cat. Um, but I use this as a meal planning and I fell off. But I really like 
the idea of planning my meals and I want to get a nutritionist that's going to be one of my goals this year so I want to keep, remain and keep this my meal planner and it fits nicely in my purse I can take it to the grocery store so I want to keep this as my meal planner these two I want to be using as my cash envelope system so this is also part of my goals this year is to do a better job of focusing on and organizing my money uh, my husband and I he share the finances he does the big finances I do the expenses which is perfect for the cash envelope system so what I want to do is I want to use this um, planner which I've had for years and not really used so I'm going to use it this year uh, I'm going to use this planner and I got this from Tuesday morning if anybody wants to know I got it from Tuesday morning um, but I want to use this for my expenses gas beauty eating out fun I already got a dollar left in there from last time so just miscellaneous so this is going to be my um, expenses tracker so that's why I also have um, a, the calendar in here up to June. I have the calendar in here up to June because I need to do paycheck to paycheck budgeting and monitoring of my bills. So I want to use this to budget and monitor uh, my expenses, track my expenses. So that's why this is going to be my expense tracker portion of the cash envelope system. And a cash envelope system has three parts. You have your expenses. Okay, I just showed you that. And then you have your savings. And I got this planner from the Cuteness Boutique a couple years ago. And this used to be my expense tracker, but now it's going to be my savings. Um, so this is where I want to keep all of my savings envelopes. And I must admit, um, when I use these envelopes before I was all over the place, I need to make this pretty because these envelopes are all over the place and I don't like it. I don't like it. It's inconsistent. It's all over the place. So I will be changing these envelopes. I, I just really still love that one. But anyway, I'm going to be changing these envelopes out. But these are my savings categories for me to save, save, save. So I'll put a little $5 here, $5 there every time I get paid and save in these areas. And when they come, when these holidays come, then I can go in this envelope and have some money to spend. So this is the savings. And then these are two parts. You have a budgeting part, which now I'm thinking I have to do budgeting. Maybe I can put my budgeting part in here. And then this will be my cash envelope system here. And then um, I can also plan my savings challenges because there are some savings challenges you can do all in here. So this would be the planning and this would be the execution of my trio for my cash envelope system. So I want to try that this year. Maybe I'll do some videos. We'll see. I want to show you three TNs. These one is new so this one is my newest TN I want I use TNs for memory keeping for fun for once in a while just play around in during the season so I have a Christmas planner that I'm not showing on here I do have a video of how I put my Christmas planner together so I am still doing a Christmas planner but I don't know how and what I want to use yet but I have my ones from previous years so I do have videos on that one so I want to have a Christmas planner but this one is going to be for winter like I don't have a planner for after Christmas you know like where I can keep memories of when we if we go ice skating or if we play in the snow and so I'm going to use this this is my summer memory keeping see and I've used this for the last three years I think and I'm just building so what I do is when I memory keep I just keep building until I've used up all the space and then I'll put this downstairs where the family can see it and the family can look through it and so um, I've been working on in this not every day it's very inconsistent but when I do work in it I'm putting meaningful stuff in it to me our vacations birthdays summer stuff so um, I like this TN and I'm going to continue to use it. I like my little charm I have on it. I'm not tired of it yet. I put these feet on here because I want to remember to use that these feet this summer. This is my fall one. 
Um, so when fall hits, I break this out. This is a leather quill. It was about $60 from leatherquill.com. Um, it's an A5 size. And I use this to memory keep and plan and have fun for the fall. So I have writing prompts in here. I have little newspapers. And I have a puzzle in here. So again, I just build every year and use the same exact planners every year to memory keep and build build on um, what I want to do for the fall so that's my fall tea. so I'm still going to be using these things and you all will see me working these throughout the year now you notice I did not say spring I did not say spring and uh -oh. I have to work my way up to spring me and spring we don't get along it's my least favorite season but I like spring cleaning so if I can convince myself to do a spring cleaning tea in, then I'll add spring. And then I will have all the um, seasons. I will have winter, need a spring, summer, fall, and then I'll have a separate cold Christmas planner. Planners are my book bounds. These are my prize possessions as well. I love I found out about myself as a planner. I love Bookbound. It is my favorite planner to use. I go in these the most. I use these the best. So I am sticking with Bookbound. So let me tell you all of the Bookbounds I have. And I do have a dilemma. The dilemma is between this passion planner and this new go get a girl that I just got. So let me start with the dilemma first. So, um, I love, love, love this white passion planner. Shout out to Michelle who gave me this. It is a daily. So you write in it daily. I do not show this one too much on camera because I put a lot of private stuff in here. But this is my favorite part. This part right here. Where I can just write, you know, something here in this space. It has a lot of writing space, right? Uh, and then it has this small space for like the time and work and things. So I can do this like my daily to-do list. Like I write in here at night before I go to bed, have it ready for me the next day. So once I do my weekly planning, I switch to this for the week and start working in here each day, right? That has been working. And then when I saw this, I had to get it. Go get a girl so gorgeous. So I got this one. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. This is a daily also. But there's no like really writing space here. And I'm like, uh-oh. That's not good. Because I was thinking about using this as my daily. But I don't like the fact that the writing space is not as much as in the Passion Planner. That's my only dilemma. So comment below if, yeah, they only have this space right here. So comment below if you know what I can do to handle the dilemma. I do like that the monthly is in here as you go along. Because I think in this one, all the monthlies are up front. Wait, does this have monthlies in it? Wait, I don't even, oh, it has the, the monthly as a list. So, but I like how these this monthly is as you go along. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do because I really want to try this Go Get a Girl. But I really like... So, okay, wait. I'm thinking maybe I can do this at night. Because then I can reflect. And then do this. But that would be too much. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But this is my dilemma that I want to share with you between those two for daily. I purchased this um, over the summer when it was on sale. It is a passion planner, which I absolutely love for the weekly. Um, and it's undated, which I've never really had an undated passion planner. And it's medium. Last year I got a large. And I think... I got overwhelmed by it. it was like so big so I went back down to the medium and it had space in the back for me to goal set and visioning and everything I just absolutely love my good old passion planner you'll definitely see me using this this year then I've had this law of attraction planner from freedom mastery 
um, for a while and I finally really want to use it. It's just a gorgeous planner. Look at that gold, y'all. It comes with a free gift and a little, I mean, the thing is just absolutely gorgeous. And this is very similar to the Passion Planner, except the questions are deeper. Um, it is undated, which is amazing. The pages are thinner. Um, but this one is absolutely gorge. Okay, absolutely gorge. And this was un this is undated as well. But I like the content of this one. And it has the free paper in the back as well. Um, and it even has the life coaching part, which I like better than the happy, better than the passion plan. I like the life coach, like the reflection part, better than the reflection part in the passion planner. So I was thinking about using this one as my weekly, but the only problem is the pages are not as quality as the passion planner. These pages are so nice. So this is my weekly dilemma. Should I use the Law of Attraction Planner or should I use the Passion Planner? Or I could break it up. I could start off using this and then the second half of the year use this because they're undated, right? So I don't have to stick with one all year if I don't want to. So maybe I'll do that. I'll start off with one and then I'll end the year with another one. But I don't know, who knows? That's my dilemma for weekly. And then lastly, remember I said I was going to change my um, business planner. I've had this planner for a year, never used it from Go Get A Girl. It's time to break this out. It is a weekly entry guided planner and look how gorgeous it is. And I like that it's big and thick, but um, this one I like because it's weekly. I can focus on my business weekly. It has a lot of writing space here. Um, it has important calendar reminders, priorities. It has these blocked spaces for the week so I can jot each day what I'm doing in my business. Um, it has an open loop brain dump here. It has a tracker here so I can put all of my um, YouTube, Success My Way Academy, my leadership coaching, all in here and keep track of my plans um, and what I want to manifest with my business since my business is my number one goal this year is to grow and, and increase in my business so I wanted to give it this space and time and work in this every week for my business so I'm going to use this as my business planner and <clears throat> y'all that's it that's it um, comment below if you absolutely think this lineup is motivating and tell me which planner was your favorite which one did you like the most um, help me with my dilemmas with my daily and my weekly help me with my dilemmas maybe I've worked it out already by saying use one at the beginning of the year use one at the end of the year maybe I worked it out already so just let me know thank you so much for watching all right everybody have a great and blessed day talk to you soon friends Bye.